The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. German Foreign Minister Guido Westerwelle meets with several high-level officials in Tunisia, where he commends the nation's pro-democracy movements, as well as those of Egypt, as he pledges 3 million euros to Tunisia in support of democratic reforms. As Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad conveys his sympathies for those affected by the Sri Lankan flood, the nation's Imam Khomeini Relief Foundation and Red Crescent Society of Iran donate over 61,000 US dollars to assist in relief efforts. According to a new study from Canada's University of British Columbia, a dark roasted variety of java beans appears to be the healthiest form of coffee as a roasting process helps release antioxidants that protect cells from free radicals and thus lowers the risk of cancer. At recent talks in Moscow, Russia, Japan's Foreign Minister Seiji Mehara and Russian Industry and Trade Minister Viktor Kristenko agree to establish a round table to encourage cooperation in Russian Far East and Siberian development. The General Women's Union of the United Arab Emirates and the UN Food and Agriculture Organization hold a health awareness program in schools emphasizing nutritious foods as well as planting, irrigating and harvesting organic fruits and vegetables. The Australian Government inaugurates the Year of Chinese Culture, representing the second phase of activities to encourage cultural cooperation between the countries, with the first being the Year of Australian Culture that is currently ongoing in China. Researchers from Georgia Health Sciences University in the USA find that regular exercise helps children to think, plan and even perform better in mathematics, highlighting the need for regular physical activity. Afghan's army and police personnel distribute humanitarian aid of food, warm clothing and other much needed supplies to families in Musahi, Afghanistan for their comfort through the winter months. The animal rights group Fur Free Weho, together with residents, activists and West Hollywood City Council candidate Mr. John D'Amico, launch a campaign to ban the sale of fur in the California, USA city. With recent frost conditions resulting in over 4 million metric tons of corn to be lost from northern Mexico's Sinaloa state, President Felipe Calderon offers a quick response of federal aid and other assistance to help farmers recover the vital crop needed to feed the country.